Hello and welcome to this reaction of the Big Bang Theory. We are on season one, episode 14, and I am enjoying this show so much. It's so funny, so silly to me. Just a, a group of friends just being dumb and having fun, even though they're supposed to be super geniuses and, you know, kind of nerdy like I am. So without further ado, let's get to the show. Well, this sandwich is an unmitigated disaster. <laughs> I asked for turkey and roast beef with lettuce and Swiss on whole wheat. What did they give you? Turkey and roast beef with Swiss and lettuce on whole wheat. Oh my, Sheldon. Uh, some guy is auctioning off a miniature time machine prop from the original film and no one is bidding on it. A time machine Good from movie. the movie The Time Machine? Good movie. No, a time machine from Sophie's Choice. Boy, Sophie could have used a time machine in that movie. Did you see it? It's rough. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh. Well, don't worry. The way these things work is people wait until the last second to bid, and then they swoop in and get it. It's called sniping. 15 seconds. Mom, I remember that sniper. from Eva. 10, 9, 8. Where are your snipers? 5. Snipe. 4. Snipe. 3. Snipe. 2. Snipe. <laughs> I still don't understand why no one else bid. <laughs> Because it's not a mini. <laughs> I remember this episode now. I understand why no one else bid. It's actually a tremendous bargain. Even with shipping, it works out to less than $4 a pound. <laughs> Cocktail shrimp at twelve fifty. How are we going to get it upstairs? If we take the dish off, it might fit in the elevator. A front end alignment from 62 million miles away. <laughs> it's broken. That isn't gonna work. No, that baby's broken. Oh, time machine. Yeah, okay, neat, but I really gotta get to work, so. Uh, just give us a few minutes. I don't have a few minutes, I'm running really late. Then I have a simple solution. Go up to the roof, hop over to the next building. There's a small gap. Don't look down if you're subject to vertigo, and use their stairwell. You're joking, right? Time travel joke. It's not. Never mind. Oh, it looks good. Kill. Was kill. Humorous. <laughs> Let's just do this. You guys, ready to push? In a minute. Howard stepped outside to throw up. The exact time machine that carried actor Rod Taylor from Victorian England into the post-apocalyptic future, where society had splintered into two factions, the subterranean Morlocks, who survived by feasting on the flesh of the gentle surface-dwelling Eloy. <laughs> Talk about Good movie. your chick magnet. You can't just keep it here. What if I meet a girl and say, you want to come up and see my time machine? It's at my friend's house. How lame is that? <laughs> He's got a point. All right, I think we're going to need some ground rules. In addition to the expected no shoes in the time machine and no eating in the time machine, I propose that we add pants must be worn at all times in the time machine. <laughs> Second, do you mean move it every other month or twice a month? Twice a month. Then no. Okay, every other month. No. <laughs> Sheldon, you can't be selfish. We all paid for it, so it belongs to all of us. Now get out of the way so I can sit in my time machine. <laughs> Bell invents the telephone and calls out I do the enjoy Dr. Watson. This part. Wait a minute, it is really funny. I want to see that too. So when it's your turn, you can. Yeah, but if we all go back to the same point in time, Bell's lab's going to get very crowded. <laughs> He'll know something's up. <laughs> also, since the time machine doesn't move in space, you'll end up in 1876 Pasadena. Ooh, I have a solution. First, go into the future and obtain a cloaking device. Ooh, how far into the future? If I remember correctly, Captain Kirk will steal a cloaking device from the Romulans on star date 5. 5027.3, which would be January 10th, 2328 by Pre-Federation Reckoning. <laughs> I think Howard is my favorite. Even though it looks like Sheldon's dancing. That was fun. Okay. <laughs> The door to the stairwell of the other building was locked, so I had to go down the fire escape, which ends on the third floor, forcing me to crawl through the window of a lovely Armenian family who insisted I stay for lunch. By the time I finally got to work, they'd given my shift away. Yeah, that's right. I'd lost an entire day's pay thanks to this, this... Time machine. <laughs> the lights flash in the dish bins. You want to try it? No! Time machine. <laughs> God, he is so oblivious. Please, it's not a time machine. If anything, it looks like something Elton John would drive through the Everglades. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> it only pathetic. All of you completely pathetic. Mike done. <laughs> Why'd you set it for the day before yesterday? Because I want to go back and keep myself from getting a time machine. You can't. If you were to prevent yourself from buying it in the past, you would not have it available in the present to travel back and stop yourself from buying it. Ergo, you would still have it. This is a classic rookie time travel mistake. <laughs> what if I knocked you unconscious right now? It won't change the past. <laughs> It would make the present so much nicer. Uh, yeah. Are you yeah. upset about something? No. What was your first clue? Oh, wait. Did you want to talk about what's bothering you? I don't know, maybe. Wow, I'm on fire tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your inability to successfully woo Penny long predates your acquisition of the time machine. <laughs> Oh. That failure clearly stands on its own. Oh, hey, guys. Uh, hi, Penny. Ah! Take a break, guys. What are you doing? Oh, you know, just moving a time machine. Yeah, okay, neat, but I really got to get to work, so. No problem. What is going on? Uh... Oh, I'm scared. Don't worry, baby, I've got you. Oh, Leonard. <laughs> He's got to be dreaming. Uh, yep. <laughs> it's still my turn. <laughs> Terrific. Does anyone want to buy my share of the time machine? Why? So I don't want it anymore. Why? Just personal reasons. My spidey sense tells me this has something to do with Penny. Look, do you want to buy me nope. out or not? And I'll throw in my original 1979 Mattel Millennium Falcon with real light speed sound effects. No, no more toys or action figures or props or replicas or costumes or robots or Darth Vader voice changers. I'm getting rid of all of it. Oh, I call dibs on the Golden Age Flash. Yeah, hang on, I need that to complete my Justice Society of America collection. Too bad, I call dibs. You can't just call dibs. I can, I did look up dibs on Wikipedia. <laughs> Dibs doesn't apply in a bidding war. It's not a bidding war. I'm selling it all to Larry down at the comic book store. <laughs> Forget it, guys. If I sell to one of you, the other two are going to be really mad at me. Who cares as long as you pick me? <laughs> okay, Leonard, put down the box. Let's talk. That's definitely Sorry, a Sheldon Raj, thing to say. Is made up. No, I can't let you do this. I have here the rare mint condition production error Star Trek The Next Generation Jordy LaForge without his visor in the original packaging. If you do not get out of my way, I will open it. Okay, man, be cool. <laughs> We're all friends here. Okay, okay, look, if this is about yesterday, Leonard, I am really sorry about what I said. I was just upset. No, I needed to hear it. No, you didn't. Look, you are a great guy, and it is the things you love that make you who you are. I guess that makes me large breasts. <laughs> Move on with my life. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Good for you. Hey, Penny. Hi, Mike. You ready to go? Yeah, I just have to change. I'll give you a hand. Oh, stop <laughs> it! Bye, guys. You better keep that stuff. My turn on the time machine. It worked. <laughs> it really worked. They said I was mad, but it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Sheldon, are you okay? We have to get rid of the time machine. <laughs> this is a little big for the living room, isn't it? Yeah, that's the problem. It's too big. <laughs> more locks. Eat him. Eat him. Starving more locks. <laughs> oh, another good fun episode. Yeah, I completely forgot about that one until I saw the time machine. Good funny episode. Uh, Penny got under Leonard's skin with a comment, and then he realized at the very end that it was just a comment because she's going to date the dude she wants to. That dream at the end was just too funny. Old Sheldon's double dream about the Morlocks. I think Howard was my favorite character. Howard and probably Sheldon. 
uh just the way they they were trying to talk him out of selling this stuff and like the the scene where leonard was time traveling just the things they were doing cracked me up yeah i mean that was my favorite scene the scene where they were doing the thing in time traveling and it was just too funny too good but thanks guys for watching feel free like share subscribe comment below until next time